Okay, so today we're going to talk about these guys. These are called whips, and they're kind of the greatest sensation now, uh, have been for a little while. And this is uh, one of the ones made by uh, a very famous brand name. I'm not going to say the brand name, but let me just tell you about these, and then I'm going to show you how to make these and make them like really cheap because it, they're just so simple. So uh, I've seen a lot of uh, photographers and uh, vloggers, you know, using these. I've seen some people using them in person, and I've seen some people using them online. And I was watching Philip Bloom's uh, vlog one day, and he had them around his wrist. And he said, you know, they're great to have on hand uh, for tying stuff down. And I thought, yeah, how many times am I looking for gaffer's tape? You know, how many times I'm, I'm constantly looking for gaffer's tape? Uh, I mean, I keep this little roll sitting here on this workbench, and I have rolls in my uh, camera bags and in my you know vehicle. Anyway, so I went ahead and I purchased these, and I purchased a pack of 10 off of Amazon, and they arrived, of course, very quickly. And these were, you know, from the famous brand name that I'm not going to say about, uh, talk about their name. But anyway, uh, I opened it up, I took it out, and, you know, it was beautiful. It looks nice. And there was only nine of them in the package. And it just kind of irritated me. And I left, uh, not a negative review, but I left kind of a neutral review. And within, uh, like, a few hours, actually, uh, I was credited 88 cents. And so I went back and I changed the review and it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It just irritated me. And, but I just, you know, I said, okay, I got nine of them. So right away, like within a day or so after having them, I noticed that, uh, you know, you can, they're, they're just one size and you can change this part of it, you know, to tighten it. But I needed something to wrap around the Ronin. I wanted to use this to lock the Ronin when I'm just like moving it around and, and in transit and it was too short and I tried linking them together and that was just kind of fumbly. So what I did was I went ahead and purchased the material myself off of Amazon and then you can make them however long you want to make them. And that was, it was just the greatest thing. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I purchased a couple different colors here and then purchased of course the little buckles or whatever you want to adjusters whatever you want to call these so simply put i'm going to put all the links to this stuff down below but simply put i went with two different colors and i'll talk about that in a minute uh this is eight inch i don't know let's see get, get my camera here if the camera can get this but it's a one eighth inch shock cord uh, and, and you get a hundred feet for like 18 bucks and again same size a uh, hundred feet for 18 bucks and i went with two different colors for a couple of reasons i went with two different colors because the black just makes get the black ones out here the black are just it's like inconspicuous it's your typical inconspicuous photography colors uh, black and gray and then i went with the neon color here and that is when i don't want to be inconspicuous when i want to put them in a place where i want to be able to see them maybe for a safety reason or whatever but i just went with two different colors and eventually i may get get a third color that's a little more neutral like a, a tan or something but anyway this is what i went with and you can literally just make them any size that you want to make them and that's like the most amazing thing so i made up a couple long ones uh this this longest one is for the ronin and they're great now with that said i also made up smaller ones and the smaller ones, I, I actually find that I use these more than I use these, okay? These are awesome, and I, you know, use them a lot. But I find that I use these little ones like this. I use them all the time. 
for cable management, for just wrapping stuff up. Uh, just, I mean, it, there's just so many things you can use them for that I can't even begin to just uh, rattle off the list. It would just go on forever. So I, you know, you keep them, they can get kind of out of hand. So I keep them kind of uh, held together with one. <laughs> Isn't that appropriate? But yeah, I do. I keep like of, of each of these sizes, I keep a few in the car hanging on the turn signal switch just in case I need them I have them you know uh, I usually carry them in packs of 10 like this and you know I'll throw some in the camera bag or in the gear bag for lighting they're great you want to run cables for the flashes uh, you know for the studio strobes and things like that and you want to latch that stuff down they're great and like now look at this one this guy let's get him up here this guy got pinched, and I don't know if hopefully the camera can see that, but he got pinched, and I was closing a little door on something, and it pinched, and it cut the elastic inside, and all you got to do is slide your buckle off, take this part, throw it in the garbage, and here's another spool. And again, this spool cost me like 15 or 16 bucks. Uh, the spools, the bigger spools were like $18 and you got 50 of one particular color of the, the cord adjusters for $19. So all total, I just thought it was a he heck of a deal and you can just make a ton of this and you can make it in any size that you want to make it, which I think is, that is the best part about it. So have fun with it so simple to make i mean you gotta all this is is you're going to cut a piece of this shock cord uh you're going to tie a knot on the end of it and you are going to use a lighter this stuff will fray a little bit so you can use a lighter just to melt this or you can put a little dab of uh, some crazy glue on there and you know, a little dab of crazy glue, either one. I tend to usually just melt them with, or kind of sear them with a lighter. And then you slide your cord lock on there. That's it. That's all there is to it. So, hey, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, come back again. Um, I just thought this was a great little not, not really a fine, but just a, a great little idea that, you know, uh, they, they charged me like 11 or $12 for 10 of these, and I can just make tons of them and make them my own size. There's nothing wrong with these. They're great. They're, what I like about the brand name one is they have a dual color uh, cord lock, which I thought was kind of cool. I couldn't find any dual color ones, so uh, I just went with the standard uh, single color. Hey, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, go down and, and check this out. You know, pick up some of this stuff, and you know you can give some of these to your friends. Uh, give them a few to carry in their gear bag. You know, here was one uh, that I put a double cord lock on it. I, I can't remember why I did that, but I, for some reason, I needed something that had two cord locks. So that's it. They call them whips. I call them zips. Have a great day, everybody.